Play Store and crypto games have exploded onto the scene and are shaking up gaming business models. Here's how they work and where the value comes from for investors. Make sure to stick around until the end to find out if Play Store and games are something for you and if you can benefit from them at this point. Today we will go over what the source of money is for these games, if this business model is sustainable, how these games actually earn money, what their benefit is in the economy, how you can earn money playing them. Later on games like Axie Infinity and Decentraland are blowing up across the crypto world. They seem to be revolutionizing the gaming industry with a new, highly engaging format with huge appeal. But what is the source of the money? The value across all play to earn games comes from the currency that players earn within the platform. But not every game has the same model and some small names are only looking to cash in onto the metaverse craze. Most games have native tokens for in-game purchases and trading between players. They derive value through the use of their tokens, which users and cryptocurrency traders deem valuable, according to the blockchain developer James Bikini. For instance, the model used by Axie Infinity counts on players making a chunky upfront investment in game-specific NFTs, where Axie gamers can then trade their in-game digital assets earned from playing at an appreciated price with other gamers who continue to loop to inject value into the gaming economy. If everyone decides to leave and exchange their Axis token for another digital currency, then the token value collapses, Bikini said. If the game continues to be successful, then demand for the token continues. The game owners and investors have to believe that people will continue playing and funneling money into it. That's because digital assets ownership is gaining mainstream acceptance. Indeed, Axie's cryptocurrency gained an eye-watering 18,000% increase over the course of 2021, while Decentraland's MANA token rose by 4,000%, ranking the two of them among the best performers overall last year from the crypto space, all thanks to popularity of play to earn games and the metaverse. Am I guaranteed to earn money through playing though? No, but it depends on the amount of time you invest in the game, its popularity and the demand for the in-game assets or underlying token. Play to earn is not a magic pill that will make any game profitable for players, yet it sets a precedent and a canvas. For such a value distributing game, said Diego Di Tommaso, co-founder of open source AR platform OVR. So is this business model sustainable? Possibly, but there are a number of problems associated with this concept because the appeal of earning money could dilute the game experience. One major risk is a game's ability to continue growing the economy it intends to build. The only way a play-to-earn model can be sustainable is having the game's users be of high quality, according to Adrian Colody, founder of DeFi startup Domination Finance. Being entertained and actually having a good time while playing could be watered down by people using bot farmers as a way to make the most of the game purely for the sake of residual income, he said. Bot behavior also incentivizes the other dumping of the token rewards that you receive from these games, he said. This leads to negative price action and can mean certain debt for some of these projects who rely on their token to do well for a sufficient runway. Moreover, continuous trading of in-game assets creates the need for constant inflow of new players to maintain the business model and develop revenue streams. How is the game itself earning anything though? Easy one, transaction fees. New players incur a fee for purchasing in-game currency and this represents a mere revenue stream for the game. The most appealing part of the game is the price appreciation of native tokens. Games with solid communities and brands have an edge over others. Axie's sustainability will be based on how fast it can grow its player base and drive additional utility to its in-game assets, said Kohim, head of ecosystem and blockchain infrastructure startup Miston Labs. Axie has literally changed people's lives. That's their competitive advantage. No other play to earn game has that level of loyalty yet. How do these games impact the economy? Today, almost 3 billion people around the world play video games. And there's an entire infrastructure around professional gaming one that has created significant opportunities and wealth for top players. The very best of them are considered athletes, employed as salaried team members, sharing in prize money at tournaments, and commanding lucrative sponsorship agreements. Others monetize live streams for themselves by playing games on viewership platforms like Twitch or YouTube gaming. Video games now represent a 336 billion industry, according to Bitcraft Ventures, accounting for a widespread of software, hardware, and intellectual property. As gaming has grown to become the world's largest media category ahead of linear TV, on-demand entertainment, film and music, certain characteristics have developed with it. 
Importantly, almost all game-based economic activities is centralized, giving developers and publishers the rights to everything going on within their game. The business case for this is to capture the billions of dollars generated from the sale of in-game content. Digital items and subscriptions, but it also means that the vast majority of players themselves have few ways to share in the value without following the route of professionalization. This historically custodial model of ownership and profit sharing has persisted as the industry has grown, but it might be on the cusp of transformation with the arrival of so-called play-to-earn games. This type of video game allows players to truly earn and own digital assets that they can then sell outside of the game at their own discretion. But how can you earn money playing these games? If individuals are to allocate serious time, attention and personal investments to digital environments establishing trust in the durability of their digital presence and goods as well as their economic robustness as paramount, early implementations show that this is indeed achievable with blockchain technology which, using cryptography, can ensure digital trust and decentralized storage of value. Blockchain is already being applied to a broad range of sectors from finance to art, and video games are no exception. Play to earn games rely on blockchain technology, including in the form of non-fungible tokens or NFTs, as the foundation for value creation. An NFT is a digital secured claim of ownership for an unique, non-interchangeable digital asset. In practice, NFTs can take many shapes inside virtual worlds, characters, items, land, decorative personalization features such as digital clothing and more. People earn the most valuable items by playing the game very well and can sell them for real world money at their own terms. The true innovation lies in the decentralized integrity and security of these digital items, which for the first time can transcend the traditional propriety, custodial ownership and discretion of a company or even government. As an example, instead of relying on the permission or rules of publishers or other third parties, in-game resources from play to earn games can be sold freely on marketplaces both inside and outside of the game. Recently, countless examples of communities have sprung up, highlighting the potential of play to earn games and building a new economy. Most notably, a video game called Axie Infinity shows that this is more than just a pipe dream. The popular play to earn environment, which has advanced from 4,000 to 2 million daily active users, within a few months, has become especially popular in the Philippines and Venezuela. For players in countries like these in the global south, the income they can earn inside the digital world is far more significant than what their local physical economy can offer. In addition, ancillary scholarship platforms like Yield Guild Games, which enable and educate players in emerging economies to participate in play-to-earn games, have attracted major investments and themselves become billion-dollar companies in a matter of months, eclipsing many of the most popular video games in value. By globalizing the market for game-based NFTs in this way, play-to-earn games and their surrounding platforms are examples of frictionless economic opportunities and meritocratic participation across geographies. It's 2021 and it seems that the world has never been flatter. For now, it's worth noting that play to earn games do not inherently and fully eliminate the centralization found in games. They still require the authority of the publisher to define, issue and constrain the asset that eventually is traded as an NFT. Rather, the greatest promise of play to earn games is in their potential to decentralize marketplaces for the creation, ownership and exchange of digital assets, as well as the potential created when these marketplaces are connected to the traditional economy and fiat currencies. Allowing players to transfer their digital time, effort and earnings into disposable income in the physical world. Owning and participating in core pieces of these new worlds brings great financial returns to those who believed, many of whom will be from emerging markets who are quick to move on the opportunities available. Some games are already allow you to earn a minimum of $100 a day. Will you give up your job to play a video game all game and earn money while doing so? Let's discuss the pros and cons below and I will personally reply back to you.